Dude, I think there's a, I think there's a, a fork in that chair. Is it really? <laughs> there's an actual fork in there. Oh boy, um, dude, something I saw today. Uh, we just go right into it. By the way, there's no intros here. It. There's no red carpet, no trumpets, no horns. We didn't even have. We almost didn't even have a beverage for you. But <laughs> yeah, do you? Are you? We find them, dude. You're we, from we Texas, scrounge. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've always drank Lone Star. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. Like when I was in college, like Lone Star just Lone Star kind of just grew on me because it became the cheapest beer at any bar. Brandon, when in uh, sorry, insensitive of me to ask you a question when I clearly saw you away from (laughs) you're good, you're good. When uh, when did you discover Lone Star? Because probably like like two three weeks after I moved here, someone was like, "Yo, have you had a Lone Star yet?" And I've loved them ever since. It's definitely a cheap thing though. Yeah, dude, it's cheap, 100%. but it's a good, it's a good yeah. cheap beer, dude. dude you get your it's money. It's great. You can't tell me it doesn't taste good. Oh, it's it's great. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's, it's a mo. Beer, yeah. It's a mo your beer, or a mo a mo your lawn beer. Okay, so I just got high for the first time uh, with the sun up in uh, thirty two days, and this is it's hit me now. Yeah, it's hit me now. The thoughts aren't coming. I realize why I stopped doing this. Do you uh, <laughs> do you smoke weed at all? Yeah, but I don't do it for this exact reason. No, see, it used what? to be it used You're to it going. used to be great for podcasts until you stopped. Now the tolerance is at an old time low. See, it's never been good for me. It was fun for me when I was like like seventeen. Yeah, and I was like I had nothing to worry about in life, and now it's oh, like, oh, dude, that's when it stressed me out. Were you getting high in class? No. Okay, see, that's no, what we I was. Were, doing. I was getting high like when I was like staying over at my friend's house. So it was like I, it wasn't my parents I had to worry about. Okay. Like you never got caught. Uh, no. Brandon, did you ever get caught? Uh, not that I know of. I got caught drinking, though. I almost, I definitely, like, got caught one time, but, like, my parents, like, didn't ever do anything about it, I guess, because it's, like, it was one of those where it's, like, I, this was, like, my freshman year of college, I was back for, like, winter break or whatever, and I was hanging out with one of my high school friends. Uh, Texas State, right? Yeah, I was down to Texas State, and we went back up. Go Cats. (laughs) This is what you guys do. We do this. Go Bobcats. (laughs) We're the worst fucking team in football. But that's all right. <laughs> yeah, we suck so hard. But we still beat Baylor this year. But you, boy, boy, could you go to an apartment dumbass. party, though, huh? Oh, A nice yeah, oh. condo party, too, at dude, Texas State. That was the thing with Texas State, dude. It was like football sucked, but like everybody went to the tailgate. It was so funny because like we would all go to the tailgate, get hammered, go to the first quarter. By the end of the first quarter, the stands were empty. I would reckon it's more fun to go to a school where the football team sucks because your expectations are just a party where it's like if you're going to Alabama and you lose to UT first game, like that party's not fun. Yeah. You're sad. No, you're bummed out. You're supposed to be the best. You know your rich, uh, deep state father is going to (laughs) cut off half your allowance for the month. Everything's just gotten fucked up. You're going to be pissed off. And your mom's getting hit. Your mom's getting Unfortunately hit. so. I'm not promoting this, but those yeah. boosters have left hooks like like no other yeah. dude. They keep their pimp hands strong in the kitchen. <laughs> Your which, Tesla you is know. developing a mind of its own. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not yeah. wanting it's not doing what you want. It grew arms. It's pretty scary. You got, you guys ever get caught baiting? Brandon? No, never got caught masturbating. I did. Do your parents not care, or are you just a sneaky little sly I'm guy? I'm sneaky, dude? thinking always two steps ahead. I did uh Right before I moved, I, I, I apparently left a con a used age? condom under age? my bed. I mean, two years ago. Okay. Well, you know, when I three years ago when I moved here, okay. I apparently left a used condom, and then my parents were like, "Oh my gosh, he's coming home soon. It would be fun to clean out his room and make it nice for him so he can stay." And they found like a six month old condom. Do you think used. the older you get, the more awkward? Dude, you just threw that under your bed. I guess I, I, I guess I don't know. I don't remember. I have no. How old are you? At 23 Oh that's 22. way too old To be making This I don't, kind of mistake I don't yeah, remember yeah, that's, that's, that's Way fair. too old like, If no. you were like 16 It's like alright That's some gross 16 year old shit But 23 no, yeah. yeah I was like an adult And I just I felt bad Cause they were like Yeah your sisters Were in the room Helping us clean And I was like Oh, Dude, that's boy. just a sloppy. That's a slimy look to, <laughs> to yeah. have a condom on the floor just to peel it off the ground like a boot camp the instructor. Used, the used part of it is nasty. I had my my dad and my sisters were cleaning my room one time. And they found unused ones like in my room, and, and my dad FaceTimed me. Well, were they optimistic sister, condoms? They were too? all laughing. They were optimistic condoms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dad's this like a, my boy. <laughs> this is at that time wherever you're like, no, I do need it. I Dude, need I remember it. getting. Magnum condoms, knowing damn well it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight. Gonna <laughs> it's gonna be, be, if I do, so and much. I never used them either. <laughs> so many boxes of condoms used and like, or no, opened but never used. You know yeah, what I'm just, talking about? Yeah, dude. Just battling the expiration date. Yeah. Like, fuck, it's getting closer. And I always took that as a suggestion. 
yeah. on a condom. Come on, yeah. what the hell? What's gonna happen? The latex is gonna get sour. I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna be get honest, chunky dude, like milk. I'm, what's gonna happen? That's the one I might take the most serious. Uh, yeah, probably right. You get pregnant. I'll, I'll try some five day old milk, but Accident. I'm not trying to have a baby. This might be a bold statement. I wouldn't even do the milk. <laughs> Expiration dates That's a hard rule for me Alright that's fair Don't you believe Accidental pregnancies In 2023 is silly It's kind of crazy No respect for that Yeah Like back in the day It's like hey man I, I'm by, I'm in your corner But if it happens today It's like you deserved it you know, Too many I've things Too many thought, remedies I've always thought That it's like It's interesting how they're, like, they're, they're, It's a common trope in TV Of like the happily married couple Trying and then like Not succeeding for a very long time Yeah Right And so it's like I've always thought It's like well if you like if you get someone pregnant at like 19 just like just on like a one night stand type shit like that's kind of how it was meant to go for you dude yeah that's probably yeah. that's you just gotta the, live with that one because there are people out there trying their asses off coming yeah. deep every night <laughs> nothing happening yeah it's like a, a, a bee accidentally buzzing around a rose for the first time yeah. all of a sudden this thing blossoms exactly dude what, what did you think was gonna happen you know bit of a reach there but you ever get caught baiting uh you look like the guy that's got some numbers I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a guy who, who 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 thought that his parents were going to be at the market for a little longer than they were. No, dude, I was always really smart about it. Do we it. need to readjust? I see we the do. issue. You got to just push it push it in. It's like on the I'm edge trying. of it. There's wow, that's so way that's back. way better. I got you, brother. It's not resting in my lap anymore. Every now and then you got to get a ha- your hands and knees, you know? And I feel uh, like you ever fixed something on your car like very small and you felt like you're not just... not once in my life. OK, dude, I fixed it. I've never fixed anything on my car one time. I, I fixed am... a headlight recently <laughs> and I literally it felt like I, I might as well have just fixed the barrel of a tank. Yeah, you know? <laughs> like I'm ready for war. I, I even got dude. a little schmutz on my face and I'm like, oh, my girlfriend's probably going to get the mop. Dude, I am so not a man. It's crazy. Like the, like yesterday. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. Have you ever been caught baiting? Uh, I I think maybe one time, and uh, it was, if I recall correctly, it was my mom, and I just remember her They're <laughs> trying to make a joke. I don't know. Like, my mom just was like, yeah. well, I having fun in there, and then just shut the door, and I was like, oh, my God. I was like Dude, 16, so I wanted to die. Very I've similar. always been very careful about it. Yeah, I got... Uh, That's like a worst-case scenario, like... Papa got a little confident, dude. Papa got a little loosey-goosey back in the day. I remember, too, like, I've been caught several times by the parents, my brother especially, but that's whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, <laughs> that, who your gives brother. a fuck? But <laughs> How is that especially? Like, how many times did your brother get you? No, I mean, especially, like, uh, my brother has caught me for... I mean, because we shared a bathroom. We had one of those mm. bathrooms where, like... Oh, so you were a bathroom guy. It was two doors. Well, I was a shower guy. Mm, yeah, yeah. I, that's, see, that's the thing. That's I never really Which is the caught. most telling one Like you're, Why the no. fuck are you in there For 45 minutes <laughs> Dude I never That's it I never really got caught But like every day Before our school My dad would like Be like stop to, Like would literally come up And knock on the door And be like Stop touching yourself Yeah that's, that's a pop's response He's and, like No time for bullshit He doesn't even care He doesn't want to talk yeah. about it Well that's just what dads do Dads yeah. think it's really funny To be inappropriate With their sons Yeah And, and, <laughs> well, and, hold we, on now. and we don't like it no, you know what I mean? Like, like Dad, like, why is your thumb up my ass right yeah. now? I'm trying to eat my oatmeal. It's breakfast time. No, my dad will just like, we'll be out. And like, he'll just like lean over and be like, she's got a nice ass, huh? And I'm like, oh, Dad, Jesus know, Christ. How old's your dad? He's uh, 50-something. My pop's 76, boots on ground in Vietnam. Not kidding. He had me when he was 47. And uh, he, what he'll say is he'll be like, Maddie, she's got a basket on her. Maddie, <laughs> 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 she's, she's got a bat. Oh, and no, he goes, whoa. Betty, <laughs> it's my dad. He's a dog, dude. Shout out JP. You're the man. You're never gonna see this. You have no idea how to work the internet. But uh, and that's my a dad, pass. My dad will watch it. My dad watches like everything I'm on, so he'll see this. Shouts out to Paul and pops. Is that right? <laughs> is that is Paul's name? No, Daniel. Daniel. Dan. He goes by Paul's Dan. a good guess. Yeah, huh? Paul's yeah. a great guess. Yeah. Dan. Dan's the Paul man, Heft? dude. Fucking uh, Danny Heft. My pops is the man. He dude. plays the guitar, him. huh? No. A little bit. No. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, rides dirt bikes though, doesn't he? No. He, he fucks lo- with poker. He loves IPAs. He tears it up in poker. Oh yeah. Every vacation we went on as when I was a kid, he won. By the way, like, if you had just let me go in there, the next thing I was gonna say was poker, poker shark. Yeah, but you took like eight. <laughs> I was not. Tries. I was never. Was I was nine. never getting there. It's not like you were gonna be like <laughs> poker, and I was gonna be like, no fucking way. No, I would have guessed bingo <laughs> first, maybe slots. I would have worked my way up. But. Yeah. No, my dad rips it. On, like, dude, online poker paid for every vacation I've ever been on. Cause he would just be like, I come home from school on, and he'd dude. be like, when they say gambling is yeah. an addiction and they say it's it's not it's for heathens. And, no, it's uh, unreal. He would do these ten dollar buy-ins and I'd come home from school 
and he'd be like, I won four grand today. Dang. So we're going to go to Disney World. Degenerate Dan, <laughs> huh? Like, like, That's sick. Oh, dude. Danny the Degenerate. Awesome. And then he would like, he'd win another one. And he'd be like, you know that trip to Disney World? And I'd be like, yeah. He'd be like, we're staying at the resort. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, no yeah. way. And in Florida, they have casinos? Do we know? Yeah, they got casinos down Ooh, there. speaking of which, February 2024. And I think maybe this could be the correspondence team right here. This could be boots on ground. Florida Man Games in Florida. Whoa. Being judged. I don't know if it's judged or host by two of the top American gladiator guys. What are they going to do? Like I know one of them. Salts? Hold on. I wrote it down. I don't know. Maybe you could pull it up. And, uh, if there's oh, yeah. A list of, the, of the games. But uh, one of them was like evading the police obstacle course. And it's like real Florida police officers. Really? Yeah, and they just Dude. have to. I don't know exactly what they have to do. Evading arrest obstacle course. Dude, you know what? I, I spent a lot of time uh, so recently watching uh, American Ninja Warrior. Oh, it's great. Wait, that's the one where they're just like parkouring? Yeah, dude. What a it's, show. Dude, that is. When that's on at a bar, I might. I might. I might. Dude. St- I might. Tap a keg. It was so funny because we're watching it and it's like this guy, there was this dude, he like crushed it, right? Like got through the course so fast and it was like hard as fuck. But he was like 5'2", so we were just shitting on him the whole time. Minimal stuff on that. There might not be a lot. Just because he... It says it says they got evading uh, arrest obstacle course and beer belly wrestling. Dude. And I'm sure there's going to be some alligator shit. They don't have the exact uh, stuff out there. <laughs> dude, we're, okay. Sharks versus alligators. Where do you stand? Where do you like your odds better? We'll say one of oh, each. Oh, me fighting them? One of each. Oh, dude, I could take sharks e- way easier. Okay. I've watched a lot of like POV scuba diving videos where they kind of just push on the nose and they here's go Here's the thing. I'm going to give you a little pushback. I don't necessarily disagree, but here's a little pushback. Now, I'm a man who was raised by Steve Irwin. I mean, I have a great father. Shout out to you, JP, again. But Steve Irwin was really, Steve Irwin was my godfather yeah. uh, in a sense. I mean, I watch highlights of Steve Irwin on a, on a heavy chest day at the gym just to get me fired up. I love, I can't get enough of the guy. And uh, he taught me alligators, their jaw muscles are d- completely designed to shut. So like, that's why when you see a gator ready to feed, their mouth's already open because they have no, like, it's so weak to get their mouth open and it takes a while. All you gotta do is hold it shut, John. You can hold an alligator's mouth shut yeah, Forever. but if you miss, bro. Yeah, if you miss, you're fucked. It, it <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's with the that's with the shark spins. too. What are you gonna do with the shark? You can punch him, dude. You just punch it in the nose. No, you let it grab it. This is what you do, and it's this is heroic. Don't try this at home, in the ocean though. This is heroic, John. But you gotta bear with me. You let it grab a piece of you. You let it. You let it bite you, and then you gouge an eye. See, occupy the shark. You want it to grab torso. Are, are there other people there? Or are you doing this just yourself? There's a paddle board or a couple couple okay. breaks. So down. that's where the hero comes in. But the thing is, that you're making a giant assumption considering that I would be a hero. <laughs> I think you have it in you. I don't think you know that yet, but I think you have it in I you. I would push the nose and swim, and I would just be like at the paddle board. I'd be like, there's a fucking shark. And if they were like, what? I'd be like, their fault. Now, Shark Week, they always say they have sensitive schnozzes. Brandon, you look like you're holding on. So what do you got? I just, you were saying it was ridiculous to hold an alligator's mouth shut. You want to go and touch the nose of a shark? You're going to miss and go inside the shark's mouth. It's no, going to eat you whole. No, dude, look it up, dude. There's so many videos of scuba divers literally yeah, encountering those are like, sharks, and they just go... Yeah, those are like dumb little sharks. Lemon dude, sharks. Those are lemon no, sand no, sharks. No, dude, it's great whites too. Dude. It's no, like no, it's crazy. it's nothing, bro. They literally just like it's they're it's like shutting a door for them. They're, what what don't like you know what they they don't talk about it. I I feel like I'm going dorsal. I'm kicking the shit out of its fin. See, I think that's a bad move. No, I think it relies on the fin. Look at this. Look at how big this fucking shark is, and watch it how easily this woman avoids it. John, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I don't think that you move swiftly in the water. Dude, I swam for 11 years, dude. Okay, but that's aggressive. That's like... that's. I, would, I am very swift in the water. But isn't that you mowing through? No, bro. I'm nice in the so water. So what do you do? You get a butterfly stroke away from the shark? <laughs> is, that what that, is that what that moves for? Oh, dude, this thing's coming in hot. Yeah, look. Ready? Right at her torso. Look at how fucking fat this shark that's is. A great oh, that's a great white. <laughs> that's a great white, Brandon. Oh, like all right, nothing. All right, you're right. Sorry. Like wait, it was wait nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. That's an anomaly. No, that's literally how, how many it's videos going. of those are there? This was the only one. You know oh, what's actually, bo- here's one swims with record-breaking largest great white. Damn, dude. All right, sharks just aren't as mean as alligators. Also, did you alligators know- are way mean? Hold on, alligators aren't mean, dude. Alligators are kicking it. Did you know that whole the whole rumor where you can run in zigzags? That's not true either. That's fake. Serpentine. Yeah, that alligator that doesn't work. They can run and they'll just catch you. Yeah, I mean, you got th- it's a serpent. 
a serpentine is a reptile. That's an alg. I mean, that's their move. No, I know, but I thought I found that out like two days ago. I, I've never even heard of that myth. Damn. Did you ever watch the Steve Irwin movie? Uh, probably when I was a kid. I used to love Steve Irwin Dude, when I was little. He get they have footage. He actually gets off the boat and wrestles a gator. Like Dean talks about doing this. He wants to do, but you know, people like actually will go in the water and fu- and tussle with a gator. Have you ever seen this? Yeah. F that, dude. I'm exactly. out. Exactly. That. That's what I'm saying, dude. You take take watch the video we're gonna find. Just look up Steve Irwin wrestling a gator, or a crocodile. Because like you see that you watch it's, that yeah, video cro- and you watch croak. that shark video, dude. The shark video was nothing. When, just, and I, is there really <laughs> even a difference between alligators and crocodiles? What the hell, dude? One just has a wider snout. Come on now. Is Catch that what up. it is? Is yeah. that what it is? You don't watch enough. Fucking Don't you dare just, uh, Fucking Don't you National dare. Geographic dude. Okay I thought you were gonna say Steve Irwin dude I've watched oh. I've already released Every single it. time I do my boot laces up I think it, Dude don't you think That his son should have a show But not like an Animal Planet show Like, like an MTV Like him getting his dick sucked at night And like partying and then No like, dude Have you seen Robert Irwin He is like He could be a stud he's, he, he's No a he's dorky. he's a good looking kid But he's too He's like so nice he he kind of he has the posture of a he dude. could be an Ellen though you know what I mean like it could just be like a front and then behind the scenes he's like horrendous hey Bendy ba ba boom dude you should ben, <laughs> Bendy you in on Bendy yeah she what a doll and because they're running the the uh, zoo of Australia which is one of those zoos that you know think they're doing good you go to the zoo dude on any substance and you realize this is like a, this is just a jail it's yeah mean. this is horrible Zoos are mean. I went to a zoo no, in Japan you guys you guys want a fucking truly horrific. Experience go to the Austin Aquarium off the 183. Aquarium. I didn't even Dude, know you had an aquarium. You, no, it is it is literally in a place where it used to be a party city. Oh, and oh. it is the saddest place. They let you pet everything. <laughs> 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 You're just fucking petting an eel. I was petting no, dude, legit like like I was petting fish. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, like yeah. most aquariums will like let you pet like the stingrays and shit. Yeah. But it's like with the two fingers. But they were, I, I, they were just like, yeah, you can just pet the fish. <laughs> you can put your fingers in. The so tongue. like we were, dude, we were just like putting our hand in in the thing, and the fish would just come and swim up and like rub against it. I love it. It was crazy. Dude. It, no, dude, it was like truly a terrible <laughs> they place. They let to you. Be. They let you tap the glass. <laughs> yeah, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You That's can great. do whatever that is you want. So wild. At one point while we were there, we uh, a guy just walked up with a cooler, scooped a fish out, put it into the cooler, the hell? and then gave the cooler to somebody else, and the guy would left. What? Dude, are you sure this isn't the the Tokyo Aquarium? What no, the hell? dude, I genuinely like I don't know Can what the go? place is. The place is no, you don't want to go. It's it's sad. Yeah, no, I don't want to do and that. And I'm dude. like, I was trying Fish so are friends, not food. Dude. I was trying so hard to like have fun. What are you looking up tickets? What are you doing? I want to see how much it costs. I no, they're not promoting. Twenty five dollars? Yeah, yeah an aquarium should cost more than that. Well, you dude, I went take to fish a, home with you. That's I that's went. A deal. I literally went to a zoo in Japan that was free, and I was like, "This is the greatest deal ever." And then you walk in and you realize why it's free. These enclosures, dude. The lion was behind bars. It was like a a circus from Dum- the movie Dumbo. I couldn't believe it. you could see the lion's rib cage. I'm rambling about this line, but I'm telling you, dude. No, dude, this, this, this is, is the saddest thing. This is one of the most horrendous places I've ever been. I mean, watching a live deal about it is uh, dude, the deluxe package. Pretty fucked up. <laughs> I mean, literally, dude. It just uh, it was like it was a full on deal, and they just did it in front of everybody, and it was like shady. Like, like one guy handed him an envelope, and then the guy that got the envelope <laughs> gave him the cooler with fish in it. Wait, it was like an exotic like, fish. It was a koi fish. So a guy was probably just buying it for his home pond or whatever, but it was just like, yo, I don't think you're supposed to be at, like, like, uh, can you get like a koi roll? Brandon, have you ever been to the, uh, the aquarium of the Pacific? Yes. Yeah. It's like, dope, you would never see that there. Dope, beautiful aquarium. You oh, don't amazing. feel bad for them. Um, no, because there's so much the, space. Is that the one in Long Beach? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to that one. Yeah, dude. That's it's a nice fucking aquarium. dope. Now, I don't believe the penguin, they shouldn't have really have penguins in California. I will say that. Yeah, yeah. that one's mean. That yeah. part's mean. They have them in Vegas too at the Flamingo. They got flamingos, which you know they have flamingos in Florida. That blew my dick off. Did you know that? Just walking around, flamingos, flamingos in and just in in Vegas in Florida. Oh, I mean, Florida. they have them in in the casino, but in Florida, they're just you can get you have flamingos in your yard. It's yeah, dude. Well, think about it. In Australia, there's just kangaroos. Well, Australia. I mean, we're talking the outback now. I'm just I'm talking like a suburban area in Florida. I mean. You know, a practice of kangaroos, this is true, and I saw a video of this recently. My buddy told me this. They will lure your dog from its backyard down to a river and just drown it for sport. 
<laughs> Cane Roots suck. Whoa. Whoa. I'm out on the Roots. Whoa, they're not part of the hit captain's that? dog's yeah, team. No, no, dude. They're anti dude, That's so I'm going to make a statement that may piss off a lot of people. I am so out on Kangaroos. Kangaroos are right there up with Matthew McConaughey. Dude, I fucking hate him. Whoa, what did McConaughey do? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm just going to be a broken record. Don't get him started. McConaughey. McConaughey, look, have you read his book? Yeah, it was great. Have, have you heard him speak? Yeah. Tell me how that makes sense. How do you have <laughs> such an easy life? You're to fucking come on like you're speaking like a monk. What? Dude, because his life. Where do you stand, McConaughey? That Get off a, your high horse. That is the funniest thing about reading his book is that he's like, and I had troubles in my life, like wet dreams. And you're yeah. Like, what of the Amazon River? Okay. Yeah, I had wet dreams of places I should visit. And then when I turned 18, I got put in a movie, and my life became the easiest thing in the world forever. It was easy up until that, dude. He was the, yeah. the best looking in high school. He drove a convertible. His pants and it's funny, the, the whole, and the whole book is like... he's it's called like, Green Lights. Yeah, it's literally just being like, hey, like you can achieve whatever you want as long as everything is perfect for you. As long as you're really good looking, sharp jawline, great smile, chiseled fucking abs, and your parents... I think he came from some money. I don't really remember that part. But. Uh, I don't know. His parents, they, he had good parents. Yeah, definitely. He had everything. But um, did you see that video of the guy on a, he was on like a shit, he was like wind surfing and got hit by a whale? <laughs> no. Did see if you can pull that up, Brain. That might, that might even, I think I said it to you on Instagram. I don't know if you, but th this happened recently. Uh, yeah, there it is. This is insane. This is what made me like. Th Sorry, this laptop runs real no, slow. No, no, you're good. This is one of the like the ocean is so scary. The ocean is so terrible. Even talking about sharks. Hey, here we go. Oh shit! Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, yeah. It's quick. Fuck. Where is it? Here we go. This, this is it. Look at that freaking whale, dude. Oh, that had to hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah, he took a whale to the chest. But make no mistake, it was a scary. Imagine like. Sometimes I see, like some like imagine taking like a, one of those big crows just just taking one right to the pack. Yeah, that's terrifying. Oof. There's some big animals just soaring around the city. No, I know, dude. It's fucking, uh, it's it's crazy. You ever see a turkey vulture? Yeah, it's a big bitch. Dude. Yeah, dude, they're terrifying. I think that Brandon, isn't that correct me if I'm wrong? Didn't a turkey vulture fly through Stephen A. Smith's window? Oh shit, bro! Uh, that's yeah. so funny. I believe I, that happened. Did you? Are you seeing this? I made a uh, kangaroos with a Michael Vick jersey <laughs> with AI. <laughs> oh, that's great. Keep drowning, dogs. That's Dude, great. No, they are. They're, they're <laughs> feisty little fuckers, bro. They're feisty little bit pieces of shit, man. They fight. Yeah, I don't think, dude. I don't. I don't trust kangaroos, and I don't know why they're out to get dogs. They don't even eat them. They just want to hurt them and kill them. It's crazy. Just because they can, I there, guess. Th there should be a true crime series about kangaroos <laughs> <laughs> capturing local <laughs> dogs. That'd be a hit. That'd be a hit in white America. <laughs> Did, uh, Texas Rangers won the World Series. You see that? I didn't. You give a shit? I don't. I mean, obviously you don't. I didn't seen. even... It was one of those things where we were at, at Rockies yesterday and it was a little slow and I was like, what's going on? And then someone was like... It's game five of the World Series, and the I was like, Texas what? Team, yeah. I thought it was like game two or something. I thought it just Dude, started. I went to a Texas Rangers game one time. It was right after. <laughs> it was right after my first girlfriend ever and I broke up, and I got tickets for me and my dad. And my dad was like really excited. And then it was like literally like a week or two after we had broken up, and I just <laughs> I ruined the entire game for my dad because I just kept running off and crying. <laughs> <laughs> him, like I could see my dad like trying to be patient because he like loves me, but at the same time I totally remember him just being like, like why did we even fuck come to this? Yeah, <laughs> this is he's like I'm trying to enjoy the game. I bought you hot dogs. Yeah, the hot like, dogs fucking, and peanuts are cheering you up. What the fuck? Get over, dude. <laughs> We're having fun. I mean, the ballpark's not the best place to be, to be when you have a broken heart. No, not to, at all. To your pop's point. <laughs> yeah. No, my dad was in the right, and then it was like it was it was because we lived here, you know. So it was like we drove like three and a half hours to go to that game, and then like I remember oh. just getting in the car afterwards, and I was like, you know what, Dad, I'm feeling a lot better, and he was like, now, dude, you I'm wasted fucking. It took you nine innings to get over this shit. <laughs> dude, one time my dad took me and my brother. This is when we were. I was. I must have been like six or seven. He took us to Six Flags, and there was this roller coaster called Goliath, like the biggest one. It like drops at like a ninety degree angle. It's insane. Yeah. My dad was so excited to go on this roller coaster. We waited in line for an hour and a half, and we get up there, and your boy just. Just got cold feet, dude. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I was shaking. I was scared. And then my brother wouldn't go on without my dad because my dad was going to wait with me. It was a whole fiasco. And like to this day, he's pretty cool about it. But I think I ruined it for him.
Yeah. He hasn't been on since. Now he's too old. I'm afraid he's gonna have a heart attack on the day. <laughs> well, that's got to be the worst thing in the world, dude. Is it's like yeah, whenever man. when your kids ruin shit. Yeah, it's like that's the one. Cool. Like the fun thing, especially about- shit that you know is like, dude, you're just being a pussy. But I, you're, I can't tell you that exactly. <laughs> you know what he I mean? should have. He should have just. I can't just be in. like, son, listen to me. It becomes an issue with the. You're being a huge pussy right now. <laughs> and it's just like teenagers working. They don't know what to do with a crying kid. Like you can't just really strap them down and yeah. set and send them up. Uh, but that's like, yeah, it's like the fun things about being a kid. I feel like I just ruined from being a pussy. Like anytime my dad took me somewhere. Dude, I was shame. the biggest pussy in the world. It's like what shame. I was saying earlier. I'm like, I'm just so not a man. <laughs> well, I was, I mean, we're talking, I was six or seven here. Uh, no, I was the same way, John. I remember like, I, I didn't go on a roller coaster. I think till I was like 13. Yeah, same. I would go to amusement parks and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll just wait in line with you guys, and then I'll go wait on the other side where, like, people put their shoes and bags. Like, you were being a hero? You were acting yeah. like you were sacrificing? Well, I got it. I was like, look, I'm not going to make you not go on, yeah. but, like, I'm not going on this. And then it finally just took a girl. Like, a gr- we went on, like, a eighth that's grade all it trip, and I was like, I can ride this ride. I can Dude, do it. That's oh, all it takes, bro, yeah, is yeah, one girl oh, to be yeah. like, yo, I'm a man. I'll do this yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you're scared, not me. I'm not the one farting this entire line. Eighth grade is the most exhilarating time to be at an amusement park with a, with a, with a girl. Yeah. Oh, I mean, with the, boy, the nostalgia, dude, choir just hearing that, whatever, dude. Bro. Tell me it was like October, too. Tell me it was like in the fall time, please. I wish it was like, end, but it was end of year, so you were like, you're about to go away for the summer yeah. and not see each other for three months. Yeah. Oh, you know? man, dude, it was, it was, it was, well, it was like, that was the most freeing thing because it's like, it's this giant park and the teachers can't keep up with you all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. just kind of get to fuck off and do your own thing. Oh, like I mean, 13. you get a chaperone that's just like uh, one of the hot moms you know her yeah her dad to uh, we wouldn't even get that like it would be like my two choir teachers and they'd be like all right this is our meeting point and uh good luck and then we would just be like cool and we you just run buddy. Off. you'd get like the bud like, yeah, yeah you're responsible for brandon brandon you're responsible for john yeah. like all right and then you'd be like hell yeah, yeah that's exactly who i wanted to hang out yeah with. yeah uh, but then the yeah best. getting you ever get every once in a while shit kid? yeah every once in a while there'd be like your group there'd be like one person you'd be like oh I'm stuck with this guy. That would yeah. that sucked. No, I want to do the Scooby Doo ride again. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, hold on, the Scooby Doo ride slaps. The Scooby Doo ride slapped. I get it, but we're not doing it six times. Uh, yeah, Six Flags. Uh, Cause I don't want to go to like my girlfriend's super into Disneyland now, and I'll go, but like. I feel like you should have a child with you at least. Yeah, you got a Disney adult on your hands. She's not a Disney adult. She likes going with her. Uh, niece and nephew. Okay, but, that's but wait, well, that's good. I feel I like, like she's. We're not. We're not getting the season passes. Yeah, but you're not like. You're not like. Yeah. Going all the time. No. Yeah. I, and I grew up by it, but it is fun. I think it's just because I. I. You know, when I was a kid, you get like a season pass for like seventy dollars. That is true. Like you grew up near. I grew up here, so it's like Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studios. Both of them were on either coast. Yeah. It was so like, like for us, thing. it was like a big trip. We always went to the Florida ones. Yeah, and it was like, and we would drive. We wouldn't fly, so it'd be oh, like sixteen hours in the car with my family. Universal is dope. Dude. Universal as an adult too. It's when you start so cool. the behind the makings of the movies, it's so cool. Uh, See, that's the thing. Too. I want to go to the. I've never been to the L.A. one, so uh, the it's Florida really one doesn't cool. have like the behind the scenes. Oh yeah, you take the rides. studio tour, dude. They take uh, you back in the lot. You see, like there's... King Kong, bro. When King, King Kong is shaking sick. your bus and shit. That one, dude. That one got me as a as a youth. Oh yeah, that one got me a little bit. That one was pretty spooky. Dude, the Jaws ride at the Florida. One was scary as fuck. It's the same. I think it's the same one at yeah. LA. It's sick. The, you it's, see the flood from Big Fat Liar. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Really? Classic, dude. Yeah. Oh, so sick. And the Horror Nights is sick there too. Did you guys ever go to those? Also like, scary, because so dude, scary. this is. The, I mean, this is the lot where they're making the movie. So they got all yeah. the real. It's the real deal. You're getting a chainsaw to the throat. You might not make it out. They're gouging Adam's apples. They're taking eyes. It's the yeah, real. Dude. It's. They Jigsaw himself is in this bitch. Dude. They take it serious. Like we did the tram ride that night, and then like halfway through it, they're just like, "Oops, sorry, the tram broke. Oops, in front of this clown town, you got to walk, gotta walk and they just it. kick you out." And you're like, "What the fuck?" I was I like, mean, "This is cool." When I did it, it was uh, the Walking Dead theme, so it was kind of uh, cool actually. They yeah, I love the Walking Dead. Yeah. It was insane. I watched that whole series beginning to start oh, I, I for mean, some you, reason. You stop once you realize that the seventh season is the same as the first, second, and the yep. third. And, and it didn't and change for all 11 seasons, and it was not good the last five of them, and I watched every episode and That's regretted crazy. every second. That's got, crazy. Got, I dropped out like season seven. I was yeah. like, yeah, this sucks. Oh, hey, and the best thing is, is the show ends, but then every main character just gets an, a new spin off show, and it's not over at all. No, not at all. There's no escaping it. It's never I'm out, though. Yet. I wash my hands. I'm clean. I'm out. I left when Dr. Dre... 
was on the show. I oh, he's in it for like three episodes. Is in a super important character, and then he's never in the show ever again. No explanation, never mentioned. Wait, what character was he? He's like supposed to be in the comic books, like one of the people that helps them like find the cure and is like pivotal. And he's just never in. It. He's like, I'm gonna go get some shit, and they're like, Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then he's just gone. Oh, so this was like a. I think he just started getting too many movie roles that they were like, he was like, I don't have time. It seems like a racial innuendo. Dude. The father leaves to go get some groceries. <laughs> yeah, his character did say, hey, guys, I'm going to go get some cigarettes, and then never came back. It was really weird. Yeah, that's, and I'm, I'm sure he was going to get some new ports. That's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That's actually why I stopped watching the show. I don't like the racial profile. Right? <laughs> yeah, so. it was egregious. You guys, uh, I'm interested to hear how y'all react to this statement I'm about to say. I'm going to say stop uh, Asian hate. Right, right off the bat. I think racism's bad. Yeah, I've never seen Breaking Bad. What? Oh, see, I'm not. Yeah, see, that's the response I hate. I'm a, see, I, thank I've, you. I've seen it. Thank I, you. I do think you're missing out, and we've talked about this, Brandon. Your people like you are the reason why I don't want to see it anymore because I want to be a bad boy. I'm, I'm like revolting against. Yeah, and people against, like you are lame. Who are like, oh, well, I'm not gonna watch something that everyone likes. That's because fine. It makes then, me then cool. a pandemic. No, I've just never seen it. Hey, then a pandemic no, no, comes that's around. That's fine. That that Erica not seen it. I made her watch it. I get it's not everyone's cup Listen, of tea. It's it, it's a serious. I, show, people react to it like whenever I tell people, people react like I just shot their mother in front of them. When the next I'm more reactive. Like, what? John, when the next coronavirus, the Modelo virus, when that yeah. comes out, <laughs> there's you're look, you got six seasons of Breaking Bad. In your I know, house, dude. I'm keeping chilling. it in the bank. It's five dude. seasons. Five uh, seasons. No, well, they broke through they broke one of them too. No. Well, maybe the release, but it's five seasons. Okay, either way. Uh it's my favorite show. I'm more like I was more like what? Because like Oh, I'm you were jealous. Heisenberg for Halloween. Yeah, I was Heisenberg for Halloween. Erica was Jesse. I'm just more jealous Bitch. that you get to like you get to watch. That's it. what everybody says, it's and like you know, and like for the first time. it's, it's funny. So good. Everybody says that they're like, "Oh, like, bro, like that's so crazy. You're so lucky. You get to you get to watch it still. Like, you get to experience it for the first time. It, it is good. And I just like keep not. You know what the I, thing is like, though? It, it doesn't. It does do not it. hit as hard because like as it's releasing. I mean, back in the Dizzy, dude. Back what what year did you graduate high school? Uh, 2016. Same. All right, so 2012. You guys were freshmen when I was senior. I was stuffing you guys in the lockers. Basically, uh. What I'm getting at is when there's like a Friday release, and I remember this was like the Jersey Shore. Like you wait all yes. week and you get to talk like with your friends about it. And it's and, amazing. I'm that, addicted to that still. Like that I, hits hard. I love that they're doing that. Like Gen V, that new Amazon show. They're Ooh, once a week releases. The hell is it's Gen so v. good. Explain it's a, it's Gen a, v, right? the, the boys. boys. Did you watch the boys? Oh, okay, I'm thinking it's another. No, it's a spinoff of the boys. Okay. Did you guys watch that new South Park movie, dude? Uh, uh, Into the Panderverse. Yeah, it was pretty good. No. It's like Cartman's afraid that he's <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> that Kathleen Kennedy is going to replace him with a uh, with a diverse a, female. diverse a gay diverse female of color. Uh, did this like just come and, out? Yeah. yeah pretty, oh, I can't apparently, wait. Apparently, dude, look this up. I think they pulled the plug on the new Snow White because of this. They were going to do a new Snow White with a black lady and I think like after this South I don't know if it's just a coincidence that they pulled it or or maybe they didn't even actually pull it. This could be fake news. But uh, yeah, basically there's like a, a multiverse of just uh, they call it the Pandaverse and Kathleen Kennedy writes the boys, the South Park boys all as diverse women. Yeah. And so that's there's like two years, and they're making fun of the multiverse thing that's happening too, because it's like that's the multiverse. Yeah. So they're like in two different ones, and there's like an evil Kathleen Kennedy that's just like Cartman dresses her, and yeah, she's just like, like anything. They're like, put a chicken in it, make her gay. <laughs> put a chicken in it, make her gay. I want it lame. It's I want it lame. More lame. Make it more lame. Make it more lame. Put a chicken in it, make her gay. And then basically Cartman and the black female Cartman switch, and they're like, we don't. We don't want this Cartman. It's not the real Cartman. And then the the woke guidance counselor is like, "Oh, you don't like it because it's a black female." And they're like, "No, it's just not. It's not Cartman." It, basically, what I'm reading is, is it's like it's a rumor. Like it's not not true, but it's there's no like confirmed source. So there's yeah, well, the, dude. You guys gotta watch the episode though. It, it's fucking. I'm gonna I'm it. gonna watch it. What, I'm gonna watch it. Tonight. I watched it. They uh Disney moves carefully, dude. They dance slowly through the shadows. Also, though, I feel like Disney's not going to take action. Or, or like, d d I don't know if you saw the, the season where he goes to China with Mickey Mouse and fucks a pangolin to get oh, COVID. Yeah. I mean, they openly shit on Disney. They, they can't do anything because it's all like they have the disclaimer that it's like not really an, an accurate yeah. depiction. Well, that's what's so great about like the, the satire of it. Like, it's so smart. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? It, it's so direct, but it's also so indirect. Yeah, those boys know what they're doing, dude. It can just never end now, too. Like, because it used to be like 28 episode seasons, like long ass seasons, those early ones. And now they're like 
eight, nine episodes and they just wait for like huge events and release it quickly and in time. And it's always a fucking banger. You ever seen Six Days to Air? Yeah, that that's a sick that. ass. Doc. I've seen it. Dude, that's great. So good. So that good. Fires me up. Like, just the writing process. He, Bill Hader. It, if they didn't even yeah. realize he was like, I, I'm sure he's not a writer anymore, right? No. No, I'm sure he just like they. He like you know. Oh hey, I don't have work right now, and they're like, yeah, we'll pay you. Come in and write. Yeah, dude. He's a busy guy though. Especially Nate Bargatze. He just hosted SNL. Did you guys see that? Yeah, it was actually not bad, dude. It was the. It was. It was one of those episodes where I was like, if they just kept doing this. The show could go in the right direction. Like it was so good, dude. That have you seen those? Please don't destroy, boys. Please don't. Do they do like all the sketch videos now on uh, no. on SNL. They're so fucking funny, bro. I see. I haven't been really keeping. It's like up, they're like they're all like twenty six. So it's like their their comedy is actually funny because they're like youthful. It's not like fifty year old writers panting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their asses off, but yeah, like check that out. The Bargatze episode was great. Well, Bargatze's monologue was fucking great, dude. It was just like he did like a set, he did like twelve yeah. minutes. It was nice. Did you see it, Brandon? No, I did not. Do you watch, watch that show? No, I mean, I definitely had. There was like an era where I loved it, and I was like, I'm gonna <laughs> the I'm, 80s. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be on SNL one day. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, I feel like every every comic comedian has thought. Yeah. thought about that. Yeah, I just don't watch it now. I don't. Yeah, I guess I I don't watch a ton of just stand up material. I like that I have. Like I go home and I want like a break. From stand up. I've heard Burt Kreischer say that he would do it for a season, but I don't think he'd be good at it. Yeah. I would definitely do it. I would, I mean, that'd be so much Like, fun. you'd be out of your mind if you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It. You have to say but yes. I, I would like to, like, be able to write. I wouldn't want to just be in people's skits. Like, I want to, like, write shit. Yeah. And, yeah. and I mean, I, I don't even know if I'd want to be on the show as much as I'd want to write. Dude, I'd That's want to be on the show so bad. <laughs> I want fun. the attention, dude. Put me in there. Let me 100%, be a character. 100%. What's interesting is, is about the Austin comedy scene, because I've like, noticed this, like, you know, like, they live stream, like, Banana Phone now, and, like, all of our roasts are taped, and we all do, like, lots of podcasts, and there's, like, no limits on what people say, is that it's like, dude, like, if, like, Shane got fucked for his podcast thing, it's like, anybody from the scene, if any of them get SNL, they're fucked. Dude, Super fucked. Somebody's I, gonna find like eight more clips than they found of Shane. Yeah. All right, hot take though. I think that the pendulum's gonna swing back, and that's gonna be like the most progressive thing is freedom of speech and like letting people talk and say whatever they want. Like I do. I eventually think that's gonna be what's that's gonna be the only key for a, for a show like SNL. They're gonna have to abide by that eventually. I think. Well, they also got to break their formula, bro. They got like yeah. a, they got like a stupid formula. You know what I mean? It's like they're just uh, it's they're doing like the same types of live sketches that they did. Fucking it's like over-gurged. thirty years ago, it's over-gurged. and it, yeah, it's all just the same, same formula, same stuff, and like they they just pander too much. Like they do like terrible like Fortnite sketches and shit. Yeah, to try and appeal to the youth, and it's just it's cringy, dude. Weekend updates not bad. I, I still weekend updates good, and their pre tape shit is generally pretty good. Yeah, but it's like the live sketch. They got to figure out some of the live sketches and make them funnier. I mm-hmm. always thought that political piece at the beginning always sucks. Like that, like it's they, well, they didn't long. used to always be political. I think. Yeah, I think it would just be like it. It was more like famous people. Like they do a sketch about like yeah. Kim Kardashian doing something crazy, and it didn't have anything to do with like showing that uh, w- what's her name is like powerful. You know, uh, what's her Chris, mom, dad, Chris Jenner? Oh, Caitlyn Jenner. Sarah, Caitlyn Jenner. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's just I don't know. And also yeah, bring back Palin, dude. What the hell yeah, happened? I guess that is politics though, and that was like the height yeah. of you know she was running for president or whatever. Yeah, but there's a certain spectrum that when you're like, when you're like a hot politician, it's not about politics anymore. Yeah, but it would make fun of both. Now it's like super like we're we're, we're gonna only make fun of one side, and that's very you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's so much. Oh, dude, getting rid of Alec Baldwin doing Trump, it's like that might be the best thing that came out of Alec Baldwin shooting that lady. <laughs> was him and that he didn't do he didn't do Trump anymore yeah cause it was like dude like that yeah, he straight capped that god damn dude. it yeah dude I he's know a that's murderer crazy. he is he's a murderer and I don't and like, he's I a like man slaughterer he was also wow. like just a like a well known piece of shit the entire time can't he, you tell he shot like, her I don't after. wanna judge a book yeah, by like its yelled at his he like yelled at his daughter on the phone called her like a like a n- no good little pig or something I thought like you were gonna that. say the n-word right now for a second <laughs> <laughs> called her a there fucking and I was like whoa dude, he, we, they called made, her a filthy little <laughs> they could've made Beetlejuice without him I'll say that 
never seen Beetlejuice. What? So I was giving See, you guys shit. I almost shit. just did it. I almost just did it. See, but I get, I was giving you guys shit. Like, dude, I've never, like, The Wire is, like, everyone's saying, like, The Wire walked or crawled so Breaking Bad could walk. Like, never seen The never Wire. Never seen The Wire. I've never seen, like, so Sopranos. many popular movies. Never seen The Sopranos. I've never Sopranos. seen, um, I, people get mad at, like, all the, I haven't seen so many classics. You seen Avatar The Last Airbender? The classic one of my favorites dude. oh it's no. so good Fuck dude water tribe what's up you're I, a water tribe I love the water can't get what enough, the hell dude what i'm about? all earth kingdom dude they're the coolest yeah you are an earth guy they yeah. punch rocks dude yeah, that's fucking, badass fucking, yeah pee on dude you're a ditch digger Wait, it's not gonna <laughs> <laughs> i do like the guy remember that old like kooky guy that was like the king of the uh earth kingdom yeah boomy boomy i shouts out shouts out to boomy king boomy do you guys ever play gamecube Dude. Oh, dude. oh boy, did I all the time? They had a game, oh, Monsters boy, Inc., and it was just dodgeball. That's and right. As Monsters Inc. characters. Also, do you remember that game where you're you like The Simpsons, but you were just pick like you were a taxi driver? You mean Simpsons Road Rage? The very, the very one. Yes, it's amazing. Did you ever that play that, John? Awesome. Oh yeah, dude. That's a good game. They had a lot of games that would come out that it would just be like Family Guy or The Simpsons, but it was just GTA. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Oh, that's but. Uh, Fuck, that was a fun time to play video games, dude. You got the SpongeBob Mac. Well, that was back going. when the video games were like so like, revamped. By the way, yeah, I saw the, that. Back, the video games were like they aren't they weren't what they are now. Like it was, yeah, it was like a, it was like a, it was twelve hours of gameplay. They're basic, and you would just you'd play it for an hour, and then you'd get bored, and you'd go out and do your stuff. Nowadays, it's like they're fucking. It's an Endless. immersive experience. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I think the new Endless. Spider-Man, if you want to do like mastery of the game, has like fifty-two hours of gameplay. That's uh, that's almost that's. Over three days. Yeah, but those Almost kids aren't days, fucking yeah. right. There's no way. No. no. 50, when do you have the time for it? You, you're not. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a firm believer. You gotta get eight hours to get the pecker upright. I heard that that people are like young people are having sex less, like a new study found, because there's like so much porn and like other yeah. stimulation available yeah. Yeah. that like we might have been the last generation of good old horny boys. R.I.P. I'll wear that badge, dude. Yeah. I'll be grandfathered in to, the, gen- to the gentleman's club. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be old <laughs> veterans. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I am a veteran of being horny hats. Like, went, show me some goddamn respect. Yeah, We're going to be at the VPW, dude, the Veterans <laughs> of Pussy Wars. <laughs> that's that. Wow. That's just nice snorting hat. snorting boner pills. Just Sitting getting bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there in bathrobes. <laughs> you guys ever been to the strip club? Yeah, uh, one time. I have Sam, never, one time. I've been a couple times. Uh, Was not for me. Actually, twice. Yeah, too many hot did chicks. You, who did you go with? Too many hot Colin? chicks, John? No, I, d- I went with, with Galen both times. No, dude, it felt... Uh, oh, watching Dale. Dale was there the one time I went. Dale... It's funny that Dale's been more than both of us. Can I guess that Dale... Dale is... Like, he does not know what to do. I was going to say, I have a feeling that he has full-on conversations. The first time I ever went... The, and the first and only time I ever went, Dale was there. And... Uh, Somebody bought him a dance and he literally just sat there with his hands in his lap and just talked to her. And then he came back and we were like, how was the dance? And he goes, well, she's writing a screenplay. And oh, we were like, oh my damn. God. He dude, told me about what that. Are you so doing? what happened was, I guess that like, she was just ca- like trying to make stripper small talk. And he said, he was like, oh, I'm a comedian. And then she was like, oh, I have a screenplay. And instantly went from like, oh, this is a business opportunity, and didn't know that she was talking to just an open mic. Uh, yeah, another dude, that's open when mic. you yeah. hit her with a, oh, I can change your life, baby. Well, yeah, we go up to the VIP room and talk, and we'll whisper. No, dude, I didn't like how it was like every. It's like it's fun when you first walk in because it is. It's just like you're you're, you're a little balling, horny twelve year old self. It's kind of like a, a little dream balling land. when you walk. Yeah. But you walk in and then immediately you realize like every girl like they come up and they talk to you and they make you feel good and then you're like, oh, this is just all a business. It's so business. fake. This is this sucks, dude. It's just, you guys, everybody wants money. I've made some genuine good connections in there, right? Dude. Same with Hooters and same with Twin Peaks, dude. These girls are not just putting on a show when I'm in there, right? But you can you can change them, dude. It's not a script. They can change. I walk in, dude, and they they actually want to sit down and talk. I went I went to the strip club. A good tip. I went to the strip club on the road yeah. with Galen, by the way, on my birthday, and like I didn't want to go. This was his idea, and. At the show, you know, we mentioned it was my birthday. Some guy, like an old dude, like bought me a shot because it was his birthday too. And then he showed up at the strip club and was like, oh, it's our birthday. It's our birthdays. And so then we get swarmed, you know, by and was like, oh, it's your birthday. But you should buy a dance. And he starts asking women to give us a lap dance together. This old dude is like, come on, dude, like, let's share a lap dance. Like, you know, uh, like, well, she'll sit and pull her laps. And I, I kept denying it. And then when it became midnight and became our birthdays, he called his daughter from inside the strip club. 
And his daughter was like, are you at the strip club again, Dad? He was like, I'm just having fun with my new friend. And it was one of the worst experiences of my it's life. It's crazy that he's, Dude. Not, he's not an absent father. The other thing with the yeah. strip club, I think, is it's like, I'm sure it's more fun if you have a lot of money. That's But it is hard to feel cool when you're sitting by the stage, like, tossing out ones, and you have six more ones, and, like, that's all you have. Dude, and you're one, like, yeah, this is, <laughs> what, what's up this is 60% of what I've got for you right now. Uh. I saw this crusty old guy just balling up <laughs> $1 bills and just pelting these women with it. Dude. It was insane. <laughs> they were, like, bouncing off of them. It was insane. That's like, cool. What the hell do they do to you, dude? That's someone's daughter. Come on now. I would, I'd like to make a little pyramid of ones. I, don't, I, I mean, it's been years since I've been to it. I don't think yeah. I'll ever go back. I think I think you grow out of it. And if I, you don't, I think creepy. I think I I needed to experience it once, but it's like, dude, like I did see a lot of dudes there that were like just old and fat and alone, and it's I weird. was like, that's sad. That's weird. It's you like this should... is the most sexual contact they've had in possibly possibly ever. I mean, at least they're not out raping. You know, that's true. That's yeah, true. it's like yeah. a place for them. It is. To, it is like, way better. That's 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 their boxing gym. That's where they yeah. release it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's where they let go of the stress. I went to the Magic City Strip Club too. The one that like Lou you went Will. for the wings though. Yeah, I went for the wings and I got my car booted. And then there was also a guy in there because we opened it, which is such a gross feeling. We went in at three right when it opened, and this guy went in and brought out like five thousand dollars in ones it was so much money and there were two girls pussies out naked and he was just making Three? it rain on them like this and he was facing away from them watching like a daytime television like maury on tv he was watching that with the subtitles music blaring not looking at the women just dropping money on them Dude, i've never been i the only place i went it, was it wasn't so cool. it was oh, it was only topless they didn't take the bottom oh this one was i mean i think i don't know that feels like a lot be, of money that feels like it'd be too much it was a lot eating wings and just like kind of like there's like, like pussy like right in your face that seems like <laughs> strange pussy right in your face too dude you don't yeah. even know what's been there strange yeah, pussy. it's like i don't want strange the, pussy. Pussy. I don't want the blue cheese today <laughs> don't strange know. pussy is scary dude yeah Ugh. yeah that's exactly you're like oh i ran out of blue cheese well it looks like she's got some <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't want you don't want seafood at a, at a strip club <laughs> no. that would be, be pretty bad shrimp like ugh, ugh. that's gross shrimp cocktail a wings are probably fish. best case maybe a pizza but that's kind of that kind of pussy adjacent it is like, dude, like mad respect to any of the ladies doing it because they make so much money. Oh, so first, it is much. ridiculous how much money they make. Yeah, man. In certain countries, they, you make this you're making your father proud. Oh, dude, you know, I mean, Thailand. It's like it's revered. My, it's my, good revered. money. My girlfriend's friend Thailand, is a stripper. Thailand, though, it's, isn't it like a lot of like uh, not actually ladies there? Yeah, and they're pro and I don't think their money's great over there. Listen, man, tomato, tomato. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just at the end of the day, I always just think of that Hangover Two scene. Whenever like with Brian, Callen. whenever she like take yeah, whenever she like takes her pants off and there's just a dick and they're yeah. like whoa, big old hog. <laughs> we climaxed at the same time. <laughs> what do you mean the same time? That's like you and that guy getting a lap dance together, dude. Oh the yeah, owners are just going up together like it's it's like the reconstruction of the twin. That is the other <laughs> thing that's weird about the strip club, dude. Is that you're really just going somewhere to get hard with your boys? Yeah. Am I supposed to? Yeah, it's like am I supposed? Which to Which is a hard? weird feeling. I mean, that's the same it's feeling. It's weird to be. Like, dude, like it was weird. For, it's weird to like be sitting there and like look over and like just Collins also right there, and you're like, all right. You think he's hard too? I want to bring him back a second. Though, no, man, I, I getting, know him, dude. He can't. Are you getting rock hard at Hooters? Yeah, that's the point of Hooters, right? You get chicken wings, you get a boner. I thought the point. I've was never just, got a boner from Hooters. Yeah, you guys don't dude. get boners at Hooters. No. You guys aren't living. Right? I mean, because those same chicks are like working next door at Sears, you know? Yeah, exactly. Dude, I haven't been to I haven't been to a Hooters in a long time. Yeah, no. I, 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 Tilted Kilt is like a weird. Oh, you, oh those are gross. That one's creepy, dude. Because it's like it's tilt, like Scottish tits. Yeah, it's like Scottish Hooters, dude. They're like wearing kilts. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, Twin Peaks has good food. Twin Peaks has good food, and mm, oh, dude, but hey, classy broads at Twin Peaks, dude. Only the <laughs> finest <laughs> at the peaks. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you have to do an uh, uh, obstacle course to get hired at the peaks. But it's yeah. all like an obstacle course. It's big. You gotta be blindfolded, and you're, it's all, you have to lead with your tits. Like American Ninja Warrior, yeah, tits out, and like you're just sensing. Uh, oh, danger. dude, American Ninja Warrior. You guys, you guys gotta watch that show. American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I know about that show. No, you gotta watch it though. Well, Two well, different I, things, I Brandon. Have, I have Hold watched on. I think it. he got you. Okay, see now, now we, he's retracted his statement. I don't understand what I what did I say wrong? You said I know about the no, show. No, I'm saying you got Oh, I've it. seen a several episodes. No, but you got to watch like the new episodes, dude. It's crazy. Oh, they got these back? two Yeah, dude, and they've got these two announcers. Their announcer it's so funny. Their announcers names are uh, cuz I was watching it. I had to like rewind it a couple times. I was watching it with Dylan Sullivan and we kept rewinding it cuz it was really funny. But it was uh, the announcers names are Matt Eisman 
and Akmar Gabajabi Amila. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is like, they got like the whitest name ever and the least white name I've ever heard in my life. A show like that, you want it to be like like the host, like Scooter. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to American Ninja Warrior. I'm Matt Eisman, and I'm Akmar Gabajabi Amila. <laughs> you got to see how it's spelled, too, because you, you look at it and you're like, I don't know what that was. You want it to be yeah. like Scooter and Scab or something like that. Scooter yeah. and Scab? Yeah, oh, my God. What's up? I'm Scooter. I'm Scab. Like, uh, what's Let's the, get back to yeah. like radio yeah. host. Yeah. What's the one from Your Dodgeball? Your next contestant is 5'2", but he can account, he's stronger than any of your friends. Patches O'Houlihan? No, 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 no. The announcer in Dodgeball. It's a classic oh, line. Oh, shit. Let me look it up. It's a classic line where he's like, uh, cotton, cotton. It, it, it's cotton. He's Dude, like, there Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think you're right because he goes like fucking a cotton is so like cotton yeah. McKnight, cotton Gary McKnight, Cole. Yeah, cotton McKnight. That's a classic. Dingo and the baby. Dingo and the baby. Uh, I, my issue with the American Ninja I, I Warriors, they should duel at the end. They should put them in a cage. Two two flintlock steel pistols take ten paces, shoot at each other. Like That's that pretty kind of good. Duel. That's pretty dude. Much. It's nuts to watch them like do shit on that. It's they're so like swinging insane. from a rope and what, what are they doing? Dude, look at just look up like American Ninja Warrior. We course. cannot. We cannot just sit and watch American. Ninja Warrior. <laughs> We're not gonna watch the full podcast, episode. Right? We're you talking about Wipeout. Dude, Wipeout's a good time. Wipeout's a good time. Dude. Wipeout's a good time. The course was like right outside of my hometown, and I I, I signed, uh, I volunteered to be one of the test dummies. And they dude, they have one that. in Austin. What? Click the on that. Hell? Dude, we should go do the Wipeout <laughs> course. Oh damn! Look at it that. Looks like, it looks like That's... it's for children, maybe. Uh, oh I yeah, do. this is this is like a children's thing. It's got monkey bars, dude. I'm... That's what these people are doing, John. You, I mean, right? Isn't it just like a big? No, playground? bro. It's like it, it's it, there's some crazy. It's all upper body strength. Can we bro. just it's see? Nuts. Well, first of all, I would crush at that, dude. I don't no, know dude, you... you would not crush at any of this. I think I would kill. Look at that, dude. That's like you. Have What's to... the one with the walls right there? I could do that. You just that's like. Uh, I mean, this is really kind of looking like Squid Gamey. To be honest with you, Did dude, they, you. The, I honestly, I, I want to watch a video because I know for a fact you couldn't do it. I could do that ramp one. I've done a. Yeah, uh, everybody a, can do the ramp hey, one. I don't know if you know this about me, but I've done a tough mutter once. Oh yeah. So I pretty much qualify. Then you also like go to war. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> one. You should definitely say that. Yeah, I, lead with that. I, te no, I technically did not go to war, so <laughs> your ship was sunk. Yeah, but that's not. I'm not kicking down. I'm not kicking down doors in Afghanistan. That's dude. Going look away. at him, a humble veteran, the best kind of veteran. Decorated. Actually, Get all veterans are lawn. good. Veterans. Your your ship got sunk. Kind of. While you were on it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. Matty crashed it. He was drunk. He had too a few too many natty ices. A little B, pink a Whitney. BUI, dude, as they call Damn, it. Damn, boating under the influence. That's a big ticket. In uh, Fourth of July comes around, dude. That's how a lot of these lake town gets their get their quotas. Catch a young kid on the boat, too drunk. One of yeah, the dude. Have you seen sons. that Murdaw shit? Yeah, Murdaw dude. Son, dude. That's crazy that he just like got away with it for a long time, and then his dad killed him. I really think the dad killed him. I know he was convicted. Guilty. But Damn, fifteen to twenty thousand for a BUI in Texas. Yeah, man, they don't play it around. They don't, I mean, you could really fuck someone up. But the Murdoch thing, I, 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 I know he was convicted guilty, but he still thinks he's saying he's innocent. I think he killed it. I think he killed his son, and someone helped him. Yeah, like one of the lawnsmen. Oh, dude. One of the green keepers. He definitely killed his son for sure. He slaughtered that boy. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You haven't seen the Murdaugh murder? Who it's like hell? it's Who's a Netflix that? documentary. I haven't seen it. It's about this family and where was it? Like Florida, or Georgia? South Carolina. South Carolina. I was almost there. I yep, mean, yeah, same I was working my way up the coast. But uh, <laughs> you were, you, you, that was the next state. Yeah, dude. I was working my way up. But basically, uh, so a while back, these kids, uh, like the youngest Murdaugh kid, he he was with his friends on their boat, like, and they were like a powerful family in their town. And they were really drunk, and he was driving the boat. He crashes the boat, ends up killing his girlfriend. Oh, shit. Uh, and the other kids get out away, but he gets off with it. Like, they, you know, like he doesn't get in any trouble. Because his dad is, like, a very important like lawyer. Like, lawyer, yeah. Okay. And so then, but then, like, two years later, maybe, like, there's, like, a call at his house. Like, <clears throat> the dad calls, and he's like, my wife and son have been shot. And they basically found out that, like, he shot and killed his wife and son. Oh, wow. and then and, it, and there's several reasons. Like basically, he was an amb <laughs> an ambul ambulance chasing lawyer. So he okay. was, like he was a fucking crook, and he was making so he was like embezzling money off people. There, and then you start digging into this family. There's some secrets, dude. There's some Obama type secrets. The is uh, he the chef that banged Obama? No, but the housekeeper died. 
Oh shit. Randomly. And yeah. then they made a lawsuit against the father that he did strategically and he just pocketed all the money and the fam her family got nothing. Oh. And several cases like that, like he was just ripping off like paraplegics and shit. Yeah. It was insane. And uh um this was all about to come out in the case of his son because this this the, the, the boat murder was like coming up and so the solution was to kill the son so there was no trial and he would never be exposed except it wasn't uh thought out very well no nah, it wasn't thought out very well what a guy we well, killed him with his own guns on his land yeah like, an <coughs> a, like a souped up ar-15 yeah, with dude. a specialized barrel like <laughs> that, that they clearly have and it's a big like they lived they lived on a lot of acreage the moselle property mm -hmm. that's and, crazy uh, yeah man. it sounds made up like it sounds like a it sounds like a novel Dude, it is. Uh, a lot of crazy it's an guys. interesting one. It's an interesting watch. It's a bear. That whole family's yeah. fucked up, and now like the dad's in prison for life. There's one surviving son, and he like just kind of lives in obscurity somewhere. <laughs> Man, you need to stop watching this stupid Love Island shit and start watching some some true crimes, dude. I'm telling I do, you, yeah, they're I do. addicting. Dude, they're... they are, dude. You can learn about murder. Yeah, just... but I like watching British people get their hearts broken. Dude, dude, dude Love Island is fire. Instead, you should watch British people getting their hearts ripped out and eaten, dude. It's much more exciting. That, that kind of happens on Love Island, dude. Yeah, it kind of does. That You're kind of just describing Tommy Love Island. Whenever, dude, whenever it comes down to two guys, it's like the new guy in the house versus the late dude, the guy guy's she's been with for a while. And out, she's like, I've got to be honest. I just, I think, you know, I've been with you for a while now. I just think I'm going to go with Jeffrey. Yeah, and you just tell the guys like, fuck, I wasted yeah, my he's time. Like, dude, what the fuck? They get desperate. They start she's like begging the almost. One. Yeah. They bang? Yeah. They bang, dude. Yeah, they, they get bang. like little vacations to bang. And everybody in the house cheers for them to go fuck. Yeah, and, that really happens. And how do you win? Uh, the 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 public votes for it. So you, it, there's no competitions. It's not like MTV's the challenge. No, they do like mini games that win you stuff, and normally it's just to cause drama. Like they'll have them read tweets about themselves, and uh. they'll be like, "This tweet says Maddie is a, like a self righteous asshole." Who agrees? And then everyone's like, "Sorry, Maddie, we kind of agree with it." And then and then you're like, "Everyone just thinks I'm a self righteous," and then you are a self righteous asshole. So it's funny yeah. that you think you aren't, and then we yeah. laugh at you and go, "Look at that dumbass!" But, but you're just like so much hotter and better than us. I think I'm down to it. Dude, I've it. always thought they just need to throw like me on that shit just like one schlubby dude just, yeah just, just like real. in a hot new bombshell <laughs> and i just walk in i'm like what's up dudes uh fellas i'm mostly gonna hang with you guys yeah because it is like are once every and hot once every six years the trend the internet trend is dad balls are back i feel like it's coming up yeah i feel like it's really coming up and i think you should take it no but there's different types of dad dude like if you look up like what women are actually into like dad bod wise it, it's shit yeah. it's still you you have to be muscular you i mean connor connor mcgregor has children you yeah know, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's no a dude it's like, if you google dad bod the first picture that shows up is jason momo with his shirt off ah uh, that guy that is i'm just He's google hot. google right. dad bod go to images that guy's a granola warrior isn't he cares about the environment no dude that was a bag of milk right there is that Momoa? That's that's not Jason. That Momoa. one right is not it, dude. This one. See, I think that's I, his dad bod. Whenever I looked at it, it was that Esquire picture right above of Momoa, the one on the right. Hey, that's Seth Rogen up there, dude. Where? Oh, here. Uh, down. Where did I? Did I not just see? But Seth like, look Rogen? at how many oh. of them are not like fat. Like that's Seth Rogen, but that's not the dad bod they want. No, but that's, nobody wants that bod. That's what that's what they push out, dude. That's like they want that, dude. You have to at least have some basis of muscle. Is that uh, Matt LeBlanc there? No. Who the hell? It's like uh, he's a talk show host. His name's like Andy or something. Did the death of Matthew Perry affect you? Affect the the Heft household? Has it been a hard uh, week? Dude, he's the reason I started stand up. Um, you know, people. <laughs> a lot of people say that you're the next Matthew Perry. Yeah, people like to say I'm the next Matthew Perry, mostly because of my pill addiction. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim can. at all. But uh, no, I uh, I don't know, dude. I was just like, damn, it's crazy. You were you a Friends guy? You watch Friends? Not really. You don't want no. to admit it though, but you've crushed the season twice. You've, you've dude, I've seen episode. Friends. Like, my my family was a big Friends household. I liked Friends. My favorite. So oh, like we would watch it a lot, but I don't I don't watch it like ever like on my own. I watched some of it I, whenever he like he died. I was like bored. I didn't have anything to watch at night, so I was like, all right, fuck, it, I'll watch some Friends. The one where Chandler drowned. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, though. All right, Pizzle. Uh, he wasn't my favorite friend. If if Schwimmer went down, and that's Schwimmer, obviously wouldn't drown. It's in the name, but. Uh, 
Uh, nothing for that, huh? All right. Well, but I mean, it, it was right there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but Ross is my favorite. Ross died, dude. Swim. I mean, he's Melman, Madagascar. Yeah, yeah dude. The draft. He was in Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. And then what the hell? Mac LeBlanc did nothing. There was a spinoff show called Joey, and that was a. And now he hosts Top Gear. Does he? Yeah, and yeah, he, cool. Andy, like, there's that's cool. there's something, it's called, like, episodes or something, like, where it's a literal, like, dumb name like that, but th- he has some show that's been around for, like, 10 years. Okay, so maybe he's doing a little but more he's than But he's not, he's doing, he did probably the worst out of all of the friends. Well, well nah, not Phoebe. anymore now. Well, where, where's Lisa what are you talking Kudrow about, dude? Lisa Phoebe Kudrow's has a, a prominent stuff. acting career. She was in Neighbors. Yeah, she was in Neighbors, principal. too. That's not that prominent. Well, there's more. That you are. It does, you do look like the kind of person that'd be like, dude. Neighbors is the height of cinema. What are you talking about? First of all, the movie rocks. Don't you slander that. It's good, but shit. it's not Hold like. On, let's look up some filmography. I'm gonna look here. up some recent, Hold recent. That Boss Baby. Boss Baby. What do you have to say about that, John? Easy A. That's Too many a great people tell me I look like Boss Baby. So you just don't want to agree out of spite. Yeah. Bojack Horseman. Like, come on. Wait, who? Oh, I remember who she was in Bojack. Yeah, so she's been around. She's been around. All right, now, now this isn't helping the case, Brand. You're in the weeds now. Yeah, I don't know. Any, I don't. I, Look I'm, up Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc, and what is that? This guy must. Matthew be Perry, I, I think, arguably had the worst career. I don't think he did like anything. Else. Seventeen think, again. No, no, seventeen he's again. Main, he's at least he at least was in like a prominent studio movie. With go to go to go to movies. He was also in. Uh, a he movie. did TV shows. He never made it in the movies, Matt LeBlanc. There's also a movie with, what's that, uh, Sofia Vergara? No. Who's the other one with a name like that? Who, who's, who's Adam Sandler's wife in Grown Ups? Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek. There was a movie that Matthew uh, Perry did with Selma Hayek where they fall in love in Las Vegas. Uh, episodes is the name of it. And it. I mean, it ran for like eight seasons. It says. So I would say Courtney Cox probably had, she didn't do, she didn't do much. She looks horrible now. Well, too. hold on now. Does she? Yeah, dude, have you dude, not seen? Got a lot you not see of... the Friends reunion? Her her plastic surgery is rough. Is it melting? Yeah, it's bad. She's married to a Selick, right? Uh, she. I mean, she dated. No, she Tom dated. Oh no, is that her? Yeah, dude, look at her. That's bad. So I'm trying to get. Yeah, that's like, bad. Like you can see how, like, I mean, and that's not even like the worst image, but you can start. You can yeah. see with all of these. Dude, like, but look up Courtney Cox Young, dude. But you she know what? Was, it's tough, man. When you're standing she, next to Aniston, who's just aging like a fine wine. I mean, that's not a fair. I you think know, she she's got no aged, chance. Yeah, no. Young Courtney Cox though was like, yo. Was, you mean Courtney Fox? Holy shit! She was a vixen. Look at her, dude. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Yeah. Sassy too. You knew she was sassy. She came from rich parents, I would guess. Oh, Maddie, definitely. it's four fifteen. All right. Just What's so you know. All right. Did we go? Are we out an hour? Yeah, we're we're over. We're we're right at an hour. All right. I unfortunately have to go clock in, dude. Uh, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. This is fun, you, dude. Uh, effortless always. What? Uh, this will come out next Thursday. If you have anything next weekend. No. Cause you come come uh, come see John at the Comedy Mothership in uh, the famous Austin, Texas. And uh, that's it from us, Brandon. What do you got? Anything? Rockies every Wednesday, Creek Cave Live every Thursday, 10 p.m. at Creek in the Cave. All right. Gavin's dogs.